Hey everyone, this is going to be a review video for a John Sered chainsaw. And if you're in the market for a chainsaw, stay tuned and I'll go over to the features of this saw. I just picked this saw up uh, Saturday? Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. So I used it for maybe a few hours. No problems whatsoever except for when the tree was falling it pinched the chain. That's typical with any saw. If you're having issues with the direction of the tree falling. Anyways, so this is a John Sred uh, made by Husqvarna. Um, I don't know if you can see that up in there. There you go. Um, it says Sweden, but it was assembled in the USA, so whatever. Um, anyways, it's a 20 inch bar. Um, you got your fuel very nice uh, fuel knob here same with the bar and chain oil it's not like uh, some of the chainsaws where it's like a little notch in there where you have to pry it open that way this way you can do it this way well maybe not i wouldn't they're good knobs have a good grip on there got it all fueled up it runs off of 50 to 1 ratio. Um, it has a primer starter or a primer bulb uh, choke. This is one thing I don't like about this saw. Uh, on the older older John Shreds, like my grandfather's, it's just like from like 85 or something. It had a totally different setup. You had the choke over here, then you had the kill switch like right there. So all it's in it's all in one now. So you pull out, pull the choke out up. Then when you start hearing it run, flick it down. And then it's in run position to kill it. Just hold that down for a few seconds. Anyways, um, it has a decompression valve, which is handy. Easy clips. I call them easy clips. Easy access clips to the fun stuff inside just like that cover removes get your air filter with a turbo uh, thing built in there I guess so they claim uh, champion spark plug there's a decompression valve right there get your muffler there chain brake all around it's a pretty good saw um, if you're just gonna use it for yard stuff um, it's a pretty good saw so far um, this, uh, I'm gonna pause the video and uh, do a startup video and this is a cold start by the way okay. yep yep touching the hell out of it sticking my fingers in the hole okay that's a little freaky anyways let's prime it here um, choke up and I'll be putting this down now. Okay, here we go. Deconversion valve. On. So, here we go. Close the deconversion valve. Simple saw to use. Um, I don't have any logs to cut up today, but maybe over the 4th of July weekend 2017, I'll have something, some shit to cut up. If you want a decent homeowner saw, this is the one to get. Uh, John Sered, anything from John Sered or Husqvarna, literally the same company, all the same thing. There's that. Um, I personally wouldn't buy a steel chainsaw because they're way overpriced and some of the saws actually outperform their their junk. Um, anyways, 
Because how many people actually cut wood up every single day or every week? Not usually, unless you have your own lumber company or, not lumber, but tree cutting services or whatever. But then you would want a professional grade chainsaw. Anyways, so check out John Surratt's stuff. Highly recommend them. My grandpa had uh, John Surratt like a 1983 or 85, I forget what year. And it was all a metal body. But obviously these are more plasticky, except for the clutch brake thing. That's metal. But uh, his John Surratt lasted up until... 2015, 2016, and it crapped out finally. And we put that thing through hell and back. Hundreds of trees. Um, I think we even bent the bar on there once. Um, it, it it worked. It worked every time we used it. Yeah, you obviously have their little problems like the pole cord breaking and spark plug, you know, getting changed out, but it held up so hopefully this help holds up for many years of service unlike the Poulon Pro that I had with a few years back that was a piece of shit don't ever buy that or a Craftsman Chainsaw because I believe that Craftsman Chainsaw is Poulon Pro or Poulon um, anyways go check out John Surratt they're very good chainsaws alright peace out guys catch you I don't know 4th of July maybe all right, take care.